Welcome back to another GoGo -Go Rental Adventure video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you Cocoa Head Arch Trail. It's connected to one of Oahu's most scenic beaches, and it's one of the shortest hikes we know. So on today's adventure, guys, conveniently, the hiking trail and the beach share the same parking lot. Most maps have it listed as Helona Blowhole Lookout. Regardless of where you're coming from, you'll want to drive in from Honolulu, Waikiki, Hawaii Kai area, heading east towards Waimanalo. This will line you up to be able to pull off into the parking areas. Details for that in the blog post. Speaking of parking, there's a few strips of street parking, but most people cruise straight past those to the bigger parking lot for the Helona Blowhole Lookout. This is a very popular lookout and at peak times, it's a total zoo with tour buses, cars, and people. So if you guys wanna avoid all the headaches of parking, we do recommend you get here at 8 a.m. Today we are running a little late. We got here around 12 o'clock and parking was full. There's probably a line of eight cars waiting, so we went past the parking lot down to Sandy's and then back, circled back around and we found some street parking about a quarter mile from the parking lot itself to the trailhead. All right, so after you guys have snagged your parking spots, crossing the street is arguably the most dangerous part of this hike. So there's two recommended ways to get to this hike. Option one, walk out of the parking lot from the side closest to the beach where the vehicles enter. We recommend coming up to where the bushes end and the trail to get down to the beaches begins. This will give you a better view of traffic. Once it's clear, cross to the other side. From here, you basically want to go over to where the guardrail ends. You can walk on the inside or the outside of the guardrail depending upon if you're more afraid of cars or heights. Either way, it's a bit sketchy. Start climbing where the rocky ridge meets the guardrail and you're on the trail. Option two, leave the parking lot same as last time, but don't cross the road yet. Instead, walk the guardrail over to the fishing shrine on the other side of the beach cove and find a spot on that corner where you can see traffic in both directions. So this is where you're gonna cross the road and walk that guardrail till it ends, which is where you hop up the rocks to get on the trails. If you suck at rock climbing, this will likely be the easier trailhead. Okay, so technically there's a third option. There's an old lava tube that goes underneath the road itself. Uh, you can crawl underneath that lava tube, which we're going to check out today, but we're not very sure of the structural integrity of the rocks and the tube itself, so be mindful to enter at your own risk. This time, go down from the parking lot to the beach. This is where you'll find the entrance to the lava tube. It's not very long, but it does get dark, and the exit is a bit of a crawl. Once you're out the other side, climb up the ridge to meet up with the trail. Before you go any further, if you guys have been liking what we've been doing on the channel, make sure to smash that like button. And if there's anything that we're missing on the channel, be sure to drop it in the comments. And eventually you'll find yourself here with a steep drop on each side. This is where all the routes that we mentioned in this video converge. In the comments online, some people mentioned that the trail isn't always obvious, but as long as you follow the ridge up and don't go down into the valleys, it's pretty hard to get lost. From here, if you stay on top of the ridge, you'll eventually end up on the top of the arch. You should notice a bit of a path going down to the right. That eventually turns into a little half tunnel thing, and that takes you to the underside of the arch. All right, guys, so we made it all the way out here. We're running low on time, so we're unable to go the whole way to the top of the arch. We got to about where it gets steep, and then we turned around. On the way back, you're gonna follow the same trail that you came in on, and then that's gonna connect down to the beach. All right, guys, so there's a few things to mention here at the beach. Uh, one thing is that there is no lifeguards. The waves tend to get pretty choppy here. So take a good five minutes or so before you get in the water to just watch and inspect before you get in. The lower cliffs may look safe, but rogue waves can come up at any minute and potentially bring you out to sea. If you were to get sucked out of this channel, guys, the channel would pull you out and it would pull you down the coast and suck you out to sea. So with that being said, guys, beach responsibly and pack out what you bring in. So you're gonna have everything from some shallow waters, some nice sandy area, some protection from the ocean swells, as well as uh, this is an okay spot to snorkel, but not recommended. So if you guys do pick up snorkel gear, from the shop. I do not recommend snorkeling here. The only exception would be on a few days like today. Unfortunately, it is a good day here to be snorkeling, but figuratively speaking, I would not pick here for snorkeling. You can definitely do this on a four hour moped rental. Uh, I would just plan to sneak a little time in there for a lunch or a snack. Speaking of dinner options, there's a lot of great dinner options in the Hawaii Kai area. If you're looking for more options, you can go to the link in our description where you can find more videos. But our must, must, must go to place while out in Hawaii Kai is Liko's Tap and Table. They've been featured in several of our videos. Few of the highlights, they have some of the best food on island, some of the best staff on island, and not to mention waterfront seating. And if you find yourself out there till sunset, be sure to check out China Walls. If you wanna try the other Cocoa Head hikes like Cocoa Head Railway and Cocoa Head Botanical Gardens, you can watch the next two videos on our screen.